Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3 on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, the first thing to do is to open our main browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL I'm highlighting in green. Now, you are able to see on the screen. There is no need to type the URL, simply because I provided the link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We ended up here on our own website of Usitility, exactly where we find here a detailed explanation on the way to download Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3 on personal computer. We search down a tad and click on the Download Game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we get to the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we are going to use to enjoy the game Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3 on the PC. It is now obvious that we have several advantages of running that emulator. So we will start downloading the Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3 by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It is a file to execute. What we have to do is to run the installer. Ok, so we click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the device. We said yes. I minimize the browser to start to see the installer significantly better. The installation software is straightforward. It is made up of two choices, install, and setup path. I will explain what setup path really does. We purely click on it. And so we see that we display here the path in which the emulator is going to be set up. If we wish to modify this folder we need to click on that, browse, button. So we select another directory and set up the emulator wherever we like. I will keep it as it is. Then, I click on back. Therefore I click on install. Fantastic. The installation commences and it will move forward in the download of these megabytes that happens to be shown on this screen. The moment you save it on your hard disk, it could be slightly more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate will go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, subject to your connection and depending on the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. At the moment they're running very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has been started automatically. As you can see now, down here, we have a progress bar that will fill up and once it gets to the end, the emulator can be launched for the first time. The fact is that the emulator has already been started, here it is for the first time. Before we keep going, as you can see, it created two software icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon will be one we're interested in. At any time when we choose to operate Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3 on the desktop or laptop, we twice click the specific software icon and consequently start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me do the next phase, which is a requirement, and this is to access the Google Play Store. And we'll click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is launched. In this case we have to sign in. Currently when we're here, we are required to execute the next step that is definitely obligatory. So that we click on, sign in. At present it says, checking info. It might sometimes get blocked in, checking info, that's why it does not move ahead. In this case, you can attempt to log in in after a couple of hours it's going to almost certainly be repaired. At present we are going to type our login name and password. The email address must be a Gmail email as well as its related password. As an example you can use the same exact email address you use currently in your YouTube account. 
Then I will type my info and I'll return as soon as I have accomplished it. Voila! Data typed. Here is Google welcoming us and providing us their terms of service. We will consent to them by simply clicking on, I agree. Then, it offers us to backup to the Google Cloud. You can let it select it and it will produce a backup of the data files on this device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you do what you want. We click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is launched without need to open it manually and automatically. To set up the application, we need to visit the emulator desktop for Android by clicking the icon indicated green colored. At this point that we are on the desktop of that emulator, we observe that we find here the install video game option. We just click on this button. On this page we have the Android game. So let's press now on the install button that I am showing now in green. This action will start the software setup. Now it should install the video game. It normally takes some time or perhaps it could be amazingly quickly. This all relies on our own connection to the internet. This has just completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by clicking on the following button that I'm emphasizing in green, in order to run Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3 for the very first time. You are already on the emulator desktop, and then we are about to just click this new Cradle of Empire Egypt Match 3 software icon that's been provided. Your game is started for the first time. Currently there we end up with it. I can click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the sound level of the emulator. It's right here. We have the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This manner we won't count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the greatest, we can switch on the large monitor, for which we have two options. This one is the very first one. We mouse click on this particular app icon that I'm showing in green. Thus the screen is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. If ever we want to launch the game in full screen, we select this app icon. And as a result we would without a doubt be enjoying the video game in 100% screen mode. To leave the complete screen mode, hit the F11 key. And so we would just be in regular display screen mode. At this point, I am going to clarify you the keyboard mapping that is certainly very appealing. That means we will probably be able to operate the video game much more effortlessly. The very first task is to mouse click this application icon. And at this time there you will be able to complete the necessary adjustments. I'll go ahead and leave the default settings, but if you really want to change this, you can also achieve it without having problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is completely in our own language. Sometimes it happens that your emulator is launched in the incorrect language, for instance, in Chinese language. And so to set it in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus here throughout other configurations, we just click the language drop down. We could opt for the language we wish, Spanish, Mandarin, etc. As soon as the language is selected, we should save, the emulator will restart, as well as the Android game, next time we start it, will as well be in the selected language. Presently, there is another point that we must take into account, and this is that we will receive a message from Gmail reporting that a brand new equipment has been connected to this Google account. It is going to question us if we're the people who have associated with that electronic device. Absolutely, we ought not get worried, as the emulator is emulating in Google Android tablet or smartphone. And in order to see which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we return right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Be sure you go here to the, model, selection. And here we notice that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for my tutorial. I believe you appreciated it, especially that you thought it was helpful. If that's so, give it a superb like, subscribe, and if you have remarks, requests or ideas, let them in the comment field down below. You could also comment things on my Twitch channel. I conduct live streams ever so often, you get it listed below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Simply click any of those training videos that happens to be appearing on the computer screen and see you in the upcoming training videos. Bye.